Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'll talk about the impact of widely used steroids on cancer treatments. Sometimes immunotherapy patients experience side effects that steroids called glucocorticoids or GCs can treat. Now GCs are often used to regulate the immune response in conditions such as asthma, Crohn's disease and even COVID-19. Yet just how they work is also a mystery. Now Cold Spring Harbor laboratory researchers may be closer to answering both questions. Their new research indicates GCs may indirectly lead to some immunotherapy treatment failures by driving the production of a protein called cystatin C or CYC. Higher levels of cystatin C are linked to poorer outcomes of this type of therapy. For the study, the researchers analyzed a massive genetic data set from the UK Biobank. How massive? Almost 5 lakh volunteers, including patients with cancer, and they also reached out to researchers overseas to gather even more patient data. The scientists found that patients who were more likely to produce cystatin C in response to GCs had a worse overall survival rate. These patients were also less likely to benefit from treatment. This suggests that cystatin C production within a tumor may contribute to the failure of cancer immunotherapy. To confirm cystatin C's connection with cancer, the researchers turned to good old-fashioned lab work. In mice, they deleted a cystatin C producing gene, so it was no longer present in cancer cells. They found that tumors without cystatin C grew slower. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.